All right, today I'm just gonna be giving you a little look at this little gear cube because I thought it was pretty cool. Now this model is on Thingiverse. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to it. Now I have seen this model in the past, but I was reminded of it by a recent Maker's Muse video. And I decided to go ahead and get it off of Thingiverse and try to print it myself. So this is the five to six uh, ratio gear cube. There are three of them on uh, the Thingiverse listing. But anyway, this is actually kind of a cool model. I'm surprised at how well this actually spins. You can see my parts aren't completely perfect. There's some uh, kind of messed up looking bits in the, uh, the gear teeth there. But it turns and it continues to turn and it'll eventually turn back into that cube. Now, it is kind of hard to turn, unfortunately. It spins freely enough, but it uh, it's just hard to get a good hold on it, really. This thing does print in pieces, so I can pull this apart here. You got two different sizes, a corner piece, you've got the pins here, the, print, the pins, uh, print separately. I can't seem to get one of them to pull out here. There we go. I don't know if I can get this out of here. Probably not. Anyway, the pins print separately and then you've got the sort of base that everything slots into. So assembly is pretty simple. You just got to make sure that it lines up as a cube. And they just snap together like so. As for printing this model, I used a 0.2 millimeter layer height and 20% infill. And it turned out pretty nice. It's actually uh, kind of heavy. This took a bit over eight hours to print and used about 30 meters worth of plastic, I believe. So it is kind of a sizable print. Anyway, I just thought I'd show that off because I thought it was kind of cool. So uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.